What's up everyone, Mike Gross, RockingGuitarsWords.com Got a, a band that I haven't put on the channel yet. This is an older request, like most are, especially in recent days. Black Rebel Motorcycle Club with Weapon of Choice for Mr. Salingo. A um, couple different tunings, but this concept is pretty much how it is how they do it, but they may be tuned a half step up or a half step down in certain ones. This is the more uh, common one. It's tuned to an E major chord. Now a lot of uh, a lot of blues guitar players that play with slide bars will use these open chord tunings. Basically what tuning to an E major chord is, if you know this chord here, you want it to sound like that by hitting all open strings. So it's E, this should be a B, this should be a E, this should be a G sharp, and then a B and an E. So when you strum it, there you go. These open tunings, you don't you don't even have to to like, you know, use all your other fingers. You can just Just kidding. Kind of true though. Okay, so um check it out. I'm going to play for you what you're going to learn the first couple parts of it. That we have to the E major chord because if you're not you guys is gonna it's not gonna sound right trust me well it might sound interesting but it won't sound like the song so um here's our E chord it's just a thing of beauty let's just stop there how's that just kidding so one thing I want to point out right off the gate is don't overanalyze the strum basically he's doing through all of it but um, he's emphasizing on basically the top four to five strings there's an occasional E string ringing in it. Because it's tuned to an open E chord, it's like not like nothing's going to sound bad. So uh, don't overanalyze that. Make sure your placement's right um, on your fretting hand. So we're going to... Um, one, and so just figure alternate on your strumming, okay? Um, we have... We're gonna strum it, and then take your pinky, go to 8 on the A string. So... Missed it. Then two strums on the opens, and then go to the fifth fret A. Down, up, down. It's a short rest there. But that's not even consistent. You could just keep it down, up, down, up, which is what the next one is, by the way. So. Third time. That's the third one. And then we're going to go opens. Like I said, don't worry about ah uh, he said just the top three you know just hit them and then bar the third fret which is common in this tuning to bar anything because you get a chord every time this would be a G chord an A chord it's cool huh and so we'll go we did our opens and then we bar there emphasize basically like I said top three or four strings even if you hit the fifth string or the second string technically it's fine um, up, down, up, so. And you'll see, he slides it a whole step. Slide it to five, and then up, down, up. Okay, so that goes, um, four times from the beginning of the song and then this next part kind of heavy this would sound cool with some discorshkin on it so we have opens this time emphasized primarily on the top um, two strings for this one the E and A um, opens go to the 12th fret use your third finger and then go to the 10th fret bar that as well 
then opens. So. Or, and then 5 3 on the E and A. So. And then down up on the open E and A. That's going to go three times. So let's play it three times. Then the fourth one is this 10 12 on the E and A. You're barring with your index, right? Then bar the 12th fret on the E and A. And then opens. Open, you'll go two times. And then 10 12 again. So. Let's start it over. The guitar is ever so slipping because the strap isn't right. So it happens when you have kids, man. Nothing is right in your life anymore. Right, kids? Nothing. Prime example, man. This has nothing to do with the lesson. I came out to the RGL studios tonight to do a Skype lesson. I was doing them in the house because I was having router issues with the wireless reaching out here. So I come out here ready to start my Skype lesson. No speakers. And my wife, Jolene, just bought me, you know, new speakers. So I had no sound. So I had to go on a mad dash for five minutes to find the dang speakers. Kids, I'm telling you. Man. Okay, so anyways, this is uh, kind of a, like I said, it's a first for this band on this channel. And um, also a first for this tuning. We haven't done any um, open chord tunings. This is... E major, open position, E major chord, boom. So, you can experiment and hit some harmonics on the 12th fret. Beautiful, huh? Or 7th fret, or 5th fret. It just sounds killer. So, um, have fun with it. And if you have a slide bar, or if you don't, this may inspire you to go get one. It's cool. I have some laying around, but my kids took them. Just like they did my $2 million stash I had hidden. I took that too. It's all the kids' fault. Okay, so anyways, if you guys have questions, you know that I'm here and I'll do my best to uh, help you out. I definitely need three mics n nowadays. My song list, I don't keep track of how many there are anymore. There's just too many. But keep them coming. In time, you'll be seeing yours up here. Uh, but hit me up, seriously, if you have questions. My email is mike at rockinguitarlessons.com. A um, couple things I want to point out. You guys are more than welcome to add me on facebook.com slash rockinguitarlessons. My personal one's on there as well, but I'm, I'm usually on the, the RGL Facebook site. More often, feel free to add me and like stuff and tell your buddies. Um, forward your videos throughout, or my, the lessons throughout Facebook with your buddies and all that. Uh, Twitter.com slash rockinguitarless, L-E-S. All this stuff down here in the description. You're more than welcome to add me. I actually encourage you to. Um, if you go to rockinguitarlessons.com, the temporary site, as of today it's temporary, um, but a lot of things going on right now. But there's a page on there. There's two things I, I would like you guys, if you don't mind, doing is fill out the contact information for rockinguitarlessons.com. It's just, I think, your name and email. Um, no one else gets it. It's, it benefits you and it'll keep you in the loop. Also, there's a page on there if you're interested in taking private lessons for guitar, bass, or vocals with me or Jolene on Skype. And all the requirements are there, the price breakdowns, the payments for the month, the payments per lesson. You get a break if you do it by the month. Um, all I'll add to that right now is if you know that's something you want to do, you can add me at Rockin' Guitar Lessons. That's my Skype name. Go figure, huh? It's because my kids. They said I had to use it. So... Anyways, uh, my PayPal email, tvxpunk. No wonder this felt weird. You know who did this to my shirt? The grown-ups. Um, tvxpunk at AOL.com if you'd like to make a donation to this channel. By no means uh, feel pr uh, pressured like if you make a request or whatever, you have to. You don't, man. If it's something you want to do, cool. If not, cool. Keep your request coming. Because really all you got to do is subscribe to this channel 
and uh, and go to fill out the contact information at our, the website rockingguitarlessons.com. That's the only thing I do require now for you guys to make requests. And um, that's it. So th we're going to wrap up this lesson. And um, or maybe I'll have my kids wrap it up. Kids, come here. I'm just kidding, guys. Later.